Yo guys, what is this? Blade here back with a new video, and that is correct, you're hearing me correctly. I'm actually back with a new video after a long time of not uploading, and I've just been really busy these past few weeks, more busy than I've ever been, so I couldn't really get a video out. But, um, yeah, so, uh, basically, um, I also do apologize, I'm getting a lot of comments on that beeping noise in the background, I really do apologize for that as my smoke detector thing, um, I will be getting that fixed pretty soon. It's very annoying, so I'll be getting that fixed very soon. But anyway, so um, let's start with this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make your um, own Minecraft server um, for Minecraft version 1.9.2, but it will hopefully work for any versions uh, higher than that in the future. And um, yeah, so this for um, this tutorial is going over on how to make a server that is vanilla. So there will be no plugins or mods like that. However, I did make tutorials on um, bucket servers and mod servers. I'll link, I'll annotate those videos on the screen right now. You can check those out if you're interested in that. But yeah, this is a vanilla only uh, server tutorial. Also keep in mind that we're going to be performing for this tutorial, but you are more than welcome to use Hamachi and skip that part of the video entirely if you choose to do so. So um, with that being said, let's get started with the actual tutorial. All right, so we're gonna begin off by making a new folder on our desktop and we're gonna name it whatever we want. I'm just gonna call my Minecraft server. After that, you wanna go to your browser go ahead and open it up and then once you're on your browser you want to go to the java link which should be down below in the description and uh, once you come here it should be a document then what you want to do is open up the java update link make sure you have the latest update of java go ahead and make sure you do that and then um get the java as your runtime environment by clicking on that link accepting this right here and then going ahead and downloading either 32-bit or the 64-bit version Make sure you install them, it's very important. After that, um, we're gonna go ahead and just exit out of that and go to this website right here. It'll be down below in the description as well. And once you're here, you just click on this right here, Minecraft underscore server dot whatever version dot jar. You wanna click on that and it should start a download. Then what you wanna do is go to wherever you made that folder, go into that folder and go ahead and hit save. It should download it after um, it has uh, successfully downloaded it. Go ahead and go and open up that folder and here we have the file right here and we're just gonna double click on it and you really want to make sure that you have installed java and the java runtime environment otherwise this might give you an error and it will not run so after you have done that as you can see i made some new folder i mean files and uh, what you want to do is open up the yola.txt folder right here with notepad and where it says yola equals it should be set to false we're gonna change that to true we're gonna hit file and save that and exit out of that then we can now um run this again so uh you want to double click on that again it should run um the uh, the console here so you might come with the security alert uh just put allow access you should be good on that and there we go and made rest of the files that we need and we can just come over here and type in stop like so all right, so this next part is uh, the part where I show you guys how to port forward your server. And since I've already uh, shown this in a previous tutorial before, I'm just going to pretty much um, uh, add in that in this video. So I don't have to redo everything again, but um, it should show you guys how to port forward. And after that, I'll be right back. So what you want to do guys um, is you want to go to your CMD and how you get to that is by if you're on Windows 7, click on the start orb and type in CMD and click on cmd.exe and this should pop up. If you are on Windows 8 or uh, Vista, I don't think anyone's on Vista, but um, what you want to do is hit uh, the Windows key on your keyboard and R. And this should pop up the run dialog. And uh, basically in here, you just want to type in cmd where it says open, hit OK, and this should open it as well. All right, so anyways, um, once you've got this up, you want to type in IP config over here, hit enter. Then it will give you a bunch of addresses and stuff like that. You just want to go all the way up and you want to look for where it says um, wireless network connection. Or if you're um, if you're tethered or like if you're connected via Ethernet, it'll just say Ethernet uh, adapter local area connection. And um, anyway, so uh, I'm doing via Wi-Fi. So uh, this is the thing I'm going to use. And you just want to look for your IPv4 address, um, which is right here. And uh, you also want to look for your default gateway, which is right here. Now, chances are this will be different for you. It'll be a little bit different. Uh, it shouldn't be that much of a change, but um, it'll be a little bit different. So just don't worry about that. Uh, it'll still work. So what you want to do is you want to go to your browser. 
and um, let me just pull this up here all right what you want to do is you want to go to that default gateway so I believe um, all right so mine is 192.168.0.1 so we're gonna go to that and hit enter and then you'll uh, appear with a login screen so we're just gonna minimize this here real quick all right, so the login screen is uh, you pretty much want to log in here. So chances are you probably don't know this if you've never messed with your router before. You probably don't know this. So what you want to do is you want to go to this website. I'll put it in the description as well, and uh, it should be called Performing Guides for Minecraft Server. And basically, since this will be different for every, this, these steps will be different for everyone uh, if you have a different router than me. So what you want to do is just go to this website here, and um, just uh, you have to know uh, what. Uh, brand your modem is your modem or router so what brand your router is you have to know that um, so mine is a well actually since I already know mine let's just find a random one here uh, let's go to Netgear or whatever so a lot of people have Netgear routers anyways then after you click that it's gonna ask for your model so you have to know your model uh, number of your router as well so you can find all of this on your the back of your router or something or your router box or uh, ask your parents or something like that so um uh, let's just pick a random uh, model here all right so now we'll pop up a guide for you to um, uh, put forward the minecraft server on your router so uh, it also will give you this is a really important where it says the default of whatever your routers and model uh, number is username is this and the default uh, password is this so this is how you will log into your router so and once you have gotten uh, this far you just want to simply just type that in so I already know my password for my router so we're gonna hit um, and log that in all right should log me in there we go now that's pretty much it on that part now everything I do from here it will be a tad bit different on your router so uh, all you have to do is just keep on scrolling down on this page and it'll take you step by step on how to uh, correctly put forward your uh, Minecraft server so it'll have every single step with pictures and everything so this is a really helpful site so this is a definitely uh, check out uh, website if you are planning to port forward if you're using Hamachi that's fine you don't have to do any of this and you can just skip over this part but anyways so what I have to do is I have to go to firewall and then I have to go to virtual server so uh, you you might have to go to something you might have to go to advanced settings then go to uh, port forwarding or forwarding tab but mine is called virtual servers um, yours might be called that too so again just use this website it'll be really helpful for you and uh, yeah so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit add over here and this is just uh, what I have to do so I have to type minecraft server for description here we're gonna put forward these ports so these are what you need to follow exactly as I put it so anywhere it says port it doesn't matter what it is if it says port you want to put 25565 and you want to put the range 25565 as well so anywhere it says port just put, just put 25565 but again, you might have to do something a little bit different. Again, just check this website. So uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing that. But um, anyways, where it says uh, TCP and UDP, make sure you select both. You want both of those. So we're going to go with that. And the private IP address, or sometimes um, it acts for a local IP address, that is basically the IPv4 address. So you want, it wants to know your IPv4 address and uh, where you're um, hosting the server from. So mine is that. Uh, 192.168.0.3 so we're just gonna type that in 192.168.0.3 all right there we go we're gonna hit add virtual server and we're just gonna wait here a little bit it's gonna probably refresh there we go and there we go it that's pretty much all I have to do you might again you might have to do something different and uh, yes Alright guys, after you've managed to put in your port, the Minecraft port on your modem slash router, what you want to do is go ahead and open up CMD. So I'm just going to open up that again, the command prompt, and type in ipconfig like so. And then we want to pay attention to our IPv4 address, so mine is that right here. And then we want to open up the server.properties file in our server folder. And then once you've gotten that up, what you want to do is go to where it says server IP and you want to type in the IPv4 address. 
so don't type in mine it should be different on yours and um yeah so you can also edit anything else that you want to edit over here such as the difficulty pvp max players or whatever you can also add a caption below your server by editing the motd which is right here so we're going to hit file and save it and that's all you need to do on that and also if you want to make your server cracked you can do this by changing the online mode to false right here but i'm just going to leave it for premium users so we're going to hit save and exit out of that and now we're going to exit out of the command prompt like so now we want to do is double click and click on this Minecraft server of the jar file this is how you will start your server but we do need to start it up for just a little bit here so we can check our um we can check if you have forwarded correctly or not so to do this you want to go to your browser make sure again you have the um, server running in the background what you want to do is go to can you see me .org. Uh, once you come here you'll show your public ip address right here i have mine blurred out because you don't want to give this out to anyone um, where it says port to check you want to uh, change that to 25565 i'm going to hit check port and there you go have a success um screen right here that means they can see my port and people are will be able to join if you see a failure or anything like that i really don't know um what to say any further maybe you have uh, port forward it incorrectly so uh, what i would suggest is going back to the port forwarding guide website and just redoing everything until you get a success but also do make sure you have your minecraft server running in the background maybe that could be one of the reasons why it might show a failure but anyways um what you want to do after that is minimize the website right here like so and just open up back the console we can actually stop this like so there we go it is now stopped. Now we want to do is um, just pretty much open up uh, Minecraft. So let me do that. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and go to the latest version of Minecraft or whatever the version of the server is. Um, like so, it should open up a little bit. All right, after it starts up, what you want to do is you want to go to multiplayer and then when I hit add server and then where it says, um, server address what you want to do is you want to type in your ipv4 address um, that we have entered in the server.properties folder and you want to hit colon 25565 so that's what you want to do if you don't remember your ipv4 address again you can uh, pull up command prompt and type in ipconfig and it should tell you and there we go we're going to hit done and it should not be able to connect to the server that is because we have to actually start the server so let's double click on our jar file to start the server and there we go, it is it's, it's done over here. That means if we refresh, there we go. Now we can connect to our server. There's my caption right there. Now we can join the server. Uh, you made it into your server. All you want to do is go back to the console right here. And what you want to do is just op yourself so you can get uh, commands and admin control. So what you want to do is type in op space, your Minecraft username. Boom, there you go. And it should say opt your in-game name. And there you go. Now you can perform commands and do all that stuff. And now that's pretty much it. Now you're probably wondering how does your friend, how can your friends join? So we're going to hit disconnect here. So uh, what you will need to do is go back to the canyouseeme.org website. Once you have come here, this is your IP. You want to right click and copy that, right? And then you want to give that IP to your friends friends that you actually trust because again this is your public server IP so um, I'm gonna get that IP and give it to your friend and what they will do is they will go to add server and where's the server address they will type in your um, public IP address not your IPv4 address but your public one that you've got uh, that you got from that can you see me.org website they will add in that then they will add the colon 25565 then they will hit done and they should be able to join your server um, obviously make sure you have your server running um, also uh, if you're wondering on how to pretty much get your um, world that you might have have on your single player and move it over to the server it's pretty easy to do so so what you want to do is you want to go to your console and just stop that right like so and then um, what you want to do is open up another folder go to percent app data percent just type that in in the address bar right there then go into your .minecraft folder and then once you're in here you want to go to your saves folder and then these are my um, single player worlds um, obviously I don't have it named properly but anyways uh, you should see all your single player worlds over here just choose the world that you want to move over to the server so let's say I want this one right here and we're gonna uh, right click and hold dragon over to the our um, server folder then we're gonna hit copy here 
And once you have done that, you can delete the world folder right here and then rename the uh, folder that, I mean the world folder from your single player, rename that to world. All lowercase just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and start up our server again. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into our Minecraft, our Minecraft server, and it should um, sort of give you the world that you have made on your single player. Just like that, that's pretty much all you gotta do to transfer worlds. And that's pretty much it for the video guys. Um, if you have any problems or anything like that, leave them down below in the comments. I'll try my best to reply to them. And uh, leave a like if this tutorial helped you guys. Subscribe if you're new. And until you guys are back with a new video, peace. <laughs>